just laying down a background color. And you can see that this is a hot press watercolor paper, so it's smooth, it doesn't have a tooth, so it kind of goes in very flat. Actually, let me stick this over here. I'm going to add some more color in here, make it kind of interesting. Basically, I'm just creating a background. Okay, so I had this nice fall background. Now I'm just going to take my hair dryer and dry that up. Okay, now we're dry and ready to go. So I have my background in there and then I'm just going to grab a pen and I'm going to write in my background. Um, sometimes I just like to do that to get started. It creates an interesting background and gives me some place to start with my head. So I'm just gonna do random things about things that I know about Ohio. For my ink to work. There we go. And you can write on top of each other, that's fine. Ready? Bluish. Now let's say, okay, this, my ink isn't really showing up. I don't like that. I can change it. It's not a big deal. Make sure pen's moving here. I can write over top. And just everything that comes into my mind, blue ash, FW media, photo shoot, Thai food, falling leaves, October. I'm alone because I'm alone without my kids. Book. Journaling. I have no more excuses. And begin. Okay, so I did in this nice loose script because now it's just background. It doesn't matter if you can read those things or not. So now that I have a background and some place to start, because I hate looking at a white page, I can start laying things down. And I think about, okay, what are the things that I know I want in there? Well, I definitely want to use this kind of flip out card. So I want that hinged somewhere. I have to think about that. I know I want to include my menu. So I just like to lay things out first. And I know I have my pictures that I want in there. I want to think about that, and I have my library cards, and so I kind of just kind of put all this stuff out here before I start gluing it down to kind of get an idea. So I think, I know I want to use this little file folder here, and I want to hinge that in, so that's the first place I'm going to start. So I'm going to grab some of that washi tape back here to my stash. Lay that about halfway down. Score it. Pick it up. And I'm going to go to the edge here, my paper. And it doesn't have to be at the end. It can be in the center, halfway down, wherever you want it. Okay, 
I'm going to lay it. Oops. Some more tape down here. Okay, so that card comes right in there like that now. And I can open it up and I can put stuff inside of it on all sides. So that gives me a place to put things. So now I know I have this fun kind of pocket, which could go someplace in here as well. I think I'm going to stick it right there. So I'm going to take that tape runner, because that's the easiest way to do it. Just run some adhesive along the back here. Stick that right on in there. So I have now a couple places to put things. And I also have this library card holder. And I think I'm going to put that on the outside here. Oops. Okay, so I have lots of places to put things. And then I have this little envelope, which would be nice to tuck things into. And so I can either put that on my page someplace here or in here. I think I'm going to just do a little flap right down in here. Okay, so now I have all these pockets to put things. Now I have my images because I know that that's important. That's something I definitely want on this page. So I think I want this image up here. Kind of goes nicely with my background. You can see I just tore it down. And I put some adhesive on the back. And this is great because I just have my travel kit and a few things that I came up with, and I can do this anywhere. You can do it having a cup of coffee, um, sitting down for a cup of tea in the afternoon, whatever you want. Yay!